so we meet again. My Romanian Roma, my genius of gypsy fortune tellers, after many a full moon like tonight. Gypsy woman, tell my fortune in the cards. Tell to me of all my heart's true desires. My last be she fair or ugly will she be. Even if she's good for nothing, I. Moonlight shines for friendship. The night is lovely and flirting. Don't you know that men make music on the moon? People say that King David fiddles to St. Cecilia's dancing. Maybe that's why you fiddlers are so devilish. frustrated farm wise. A tent without a woman is like a violin with no strings. <laughs> Shall I 
Yes, it's getting late. Let's go. More tomorrow. <laughs>
as if he were fighting a bear. So difficult to 
what did he get an old woman? Get married, dear. And it may come to be that you go through nine wives in a year. He then went and much compared his wife and said, I do regret my 
It's good to have friends, mm -hmm. even in hell. <laughs> Finally, she let him in. Finally, she prepared him a dish, a toast.
What misfortune, son? What devilish business made you leave your home and roam the green mountains, risking your head as a height and outlaw? Oh, the singer of tales. Those are dead stories, not for polite company. Too long and too long ago. Ha! I see the cards telling me of a man and his three wives. Ooh! Ah, oh, yes. That first marriage was a bowl of honey. The second, a glass of wine. The third, a cup of poison. I know from long experience. Ha! Everyone knows where his own shoe pinches. You, Grandpa? Well, to be absolutely honest, upon my word, as heroic high duke and outlaw, I have never been married. At least to my own wife. Now he tells me. So, what are the stories of these wives, old singer of tales? Tell us! The first card. The lovers. Our high duke is a younger man who loves, loves, who returns to thievery and then marries again. Oh, card of the hand of the man. The second marriage indeed. On the third card, the dance of death. sing of the first wife, fair Fatima. There never bloomed a flower more beautiful than Fatima, sister of Lyubovich. She is slender, her complexion rosy. Her eyes, they shine like two precious diamonds and her eyelashes are like the wings of swallows. Her lips invite like a bowl of honey. And her white teeth are like two rows of pearls. Her slender arms are like the wings of swans. And her white breasts are like two pale pigeons.
had to follow. And what happens to fair Fatima, this first wife? Listen closely, my dear. For you may become a wife one day. Hey, many daughters, I come home the maiden, and among them are two who come most. One of them is the old chieftain Mustaf, and the other Zuko, a brave young warrior. O oh, chieftain, he bids a thousand ducats. Zuko offers but a dozen ducats. For poor Zuko has very little wealth. Then Lyubovich speaks to his own sister. Mm. Many suitors have come here to woo you. <laughs> and one of them is the old chieftain Mustaf. He will feed you on honeys and sugars. <laughs> the other, a warrior, brave Zuko. He has only a saber and fattened horse. <laughs> <laughs> you must choose now. Which of them shall wed you? I would rather marry the young, brave lad. Mm -hmm. Wealth is neither silver nor gold. Wealth is rather when two love each other. But he gives her to old chieftain Musta. Hey, old Musta goes eager to play his bride. And he invites great Zuko to bear his banner. And when they arrive, Fatima as whispering. Tell me, sister, who is to be my groom? My dear sister, beautiful Fatima. Take a look around you, both to your right and to your left. And then, back over there, <laughs> at that old, decrepit man with a white beard covering his jerk. <laughs> hey, so she sees him, I, she sighs deeply, asks. <sighs> and who is that lad, that brave young lad on white horse, with the banner in his hands? His black mustache twisted on both his cheeks. Sister, that is Zuko, brave warrior. <laughs> he asked for you too, but he was refused. Hey, when she hears that, I, she drops to the ground. <laughs> All wedding guests rush quickly to her side. But not one man, I can wait Fatima. <laughs> Zuko arrives, offers his hand to her. She then rises, mounts the horse with Zuko, and they gallop across the starlit sky. Hey, most of cries loud, I in a stricken voice. Did you see that, you honored wedding guests? How that High Duke has stolen my maiden. Now do something. Run and bring her to me. Hey, the wedding guests, I shout back in one voice. Let, Let the, the bold hawk carry the tender quail. quail. For, For such, such beauty, beauty is, is not, not meant to, to be yours. Ha! <laughs> that just goes to show that two things rule the world, reward and punishment. What happens to the second wife? And which one am I? 
a wife is frightened of her first husband. Oh, and her husband is frightened of his second wife. Ah, that the Roma can tell us from her cards. The story of the hanged man. Yes, but to sing this history, I will need your help as well. You will be my alter ego, my doppelganger. Sure. 
from bad to worse. No matter who may be the wife, be she the queen of Romalia herself, marriage is definitely not for me. Not once, not twice, ever. My son, you will learn that love is sometimes difficult, but death even more so.
Here's why single men meet so well. You go evenings where you wish. Dust doesn't gather on a drum. <laughs> <laughs>